Hey guys, I'm Andrew Polino, and I'm going to take you through the basics of editing 360 degree video using Final Cut Pro. Now, first of all, the good news uh, if you have the latest version of Final Cut Pro X, all the latest features for 360 video editing and formatting have now been integrated right into the software. And so, as these things go, it's a pretty simple and user friendly kind of a workstation. So, let's open up a new project here. Now to start off, uh, the first thing you have to do to make sure you can edit in 360 is format uh, the project correctly. So from the video format options, choose 360 degrees and um, make sure that the resolution and the frame rate match the resolution and frame rate that the 360 camera you used recorded at and also the uh, projection. In this case, it's 360 degree monoscopic, uh, which is basically any kind of two dimensional um, single frame 360 video. So with that taken care of, uh, we've got our project open now. Now the first thing you'll notice is there are two video windows here. The one on the left shows how our composition looks in 360 degree view, and the one on the right shows the complete image rolled out into an eco-rectangular panorama. So let's drag and drop that. And like I said, left window uh, offers full 360 view. And you can drag uh, to rotate around and view it from 360 degree view. So anyway, let's take a look at some of our basic editing tools. And the main one we're gonna start with is reorientation, which we use to make some adjustments visually to the video, fix um, you know any tilts or um, sort of a crooked horizon. And we can also use it to recenter uh, our image. And um, the reorient tool is this little wheel uh, down here in the bottom left corner. Um, doesn't do anything as you see on the left window, but apply it to the panorama and just click and drag and it rotates this sphere as it, as it is on its X, Y, and Z axis. And keep in mind, you can also adjust it so that it only rotates one axis. Like let's say you wanna slide the center of the image without messing with the horizon. Just hold down the shift key and click and drag in the direction that you wanna move the sphere. So that's reorientation and you can also uh, reset it at any time here on our effects window. Now, let's turn our attention to adding a flat object into our 360 um, scene. This applies across the board, whether it's a text caption, uh, a still image, a flat video frame, what have you. Whenever you add a 2D image into a 360 frame, it has to be converted so that it'll keep its proper shape when it's exported to a spherical scene. Now luckily, as you can see, Final Cut Pro is taking care of that for us. You can see the sort of spherical bulge already applied to our uh, picture of sand dunes here. And that will hold true as long as the 360 degree transform effect is checked off. And that should be true of every flat object you add into your timeline. And these are, these are the effects that we're controlling here. Um, there's distance, as you can see, we've um, moved the object further and into the background or closer toward uh, the camera. Uh, these X, Y, and Z rotations you can see here are rotating the image on its axis. And you can sort of control how it's tilted toward or away from you. But if you want to control where this shows up in the video, this is what you want to control, latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude will move the object along the, the video sphere. Uh, in this case, I'm going to move the sand dune down here to sort of line the floor, as it were, of our cart. Uh, you want to take your time with this. Uh, be careful with how you configure it. And um, also bear in mind, you can use the 360 viewing window to see how it looks in the finished 360 window. And another quick note here, um, before we export, Final Cut Pro X has a couple of 360 effects, which you can see uh, in the window down here. There's a whole 360 category. Now the basic effects are mainly just Final Cut image effects that have been tweaked so that they apply to a 360 sphere. And here, let's get us to the right part of the video here. So some of these effects uh, include blur and soft focus effects. Um, which can be used for a number of things, including helping to blur some uh, stitch lines out, if that's doable. Soft focus, and the other ones here. 
Uh, there are lighting control effects, um, which apply to the way that the light is enhanced or spread all the way out across the scene. And you'll want to be careful with these and use them sparingly. Um, this is the sharpen effect, uh, which, you know, whichever effect that you want to use, you can just drag and drop into the 360 video portion of the clip. And as you can see, you can mess around with it a little bit. Uh, the amount that the effect is applied, uh, the intensity here. And if you want to take the time, these are probably worth playing around with a little bit. Um, again, I would use them sparingly and only if absolutely necessary, because it's very easy for this to kind of badly affect the way that the video looks, as you can kind of see here. All right, so uh, we'll get more into the finer points of fine-tuning your image in post-production in a later tutorial because we have effects that go beyond just the ones here. Anyway, uh, once you've gotten your sequence edited to your satisfaction, uh, you can export it. Now, um, if you've already set your project to 360, which we have, Final Cut will export the video with all the right metadata that it needs to show up properly in 360. And you can see you can upload it directly to a Facebook or YouTube account you've got connected here, or export it as a master video file, uh, which you can then apply to After Effects or whatever else you're using for post-production, which, like I said, uh, we'll get into a little bit later on. But when you export, uh, that should cover the basics. And that about wraps it up for your basic, straightforward 101 Editing 360 and Final Cut. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.